Hi YouTube, Eden Royd here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for the really thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving to me so far. Now the reason I have Sam firmware right here on my screen is that today's episode is dedicated to um, today's in fact and a couple of more episodes that I'll do after this it's dedicated to stock ROM and custom ROMs. So Sam firmware is the website where you can download um, you know different firmwares for your Galaxy Mini and other Samsung devices. How do we do that? First of all of course you need to have um, an ID and this is what you do. This is the top page. You go to sorry you go to toolbox then you go to firmware and then you choose Android from here. Uh, where it is. See? And when you choose Android from here, then you can select your Galaxy Mini. And here I am on the Galaxy Mini firmware page where I have different firmwares listed. These are all the firmware that are listed. Number one is the European firmware. And there are different European firmwares. And similarly, there is Asia firmware and all that. Now, what I go for here is this provider Samsung S5570 firmwares and I have got this firmware with me which is number first S5570 BUKV1 hash hash download this firmware we will be using it to get back to our stock Froyo and other than that when we're talking about gingerbread I want you guys to download let me show you here we have the red ones are the gingerbread see okay I want you to download this one S5570 XXKPI. All right, download this one from here, and I, I'll post the link on my video. But I just wanted to show you this first. Download this one, and uh, we shall begin. Now, first of all, I'd like to mention I want to put a little disclaimer please do it at your own risk I have been flashing ROMs and everything and it had worked fine for me and if you would follow these steps then I'm sure it will work fine for you as well but you know just to be on the safe side make sure you do your proper research and everything uh, before we start now the first thing that you need to do is you need to you need to be rooted of course so that we have done already if you are not rooted you just check my first video out and you will know um, how to do it and all and the other thing now what we need we need a software which is called Odin multi downloader v4.38 now this is also available on Sam firmware if you can't find the link or anything I'll just post the link to this file in my description as well let's open it it gives you this message we are opening it and we say yes we're done this is the first screen that you see actually Let me put my laptop a bit closer yeah this is a screen that you will look at now we need a couple of things like I mentioned in my routing video we already had um, our drivers installed and everything so do that uh, just go through my routing video if you don't have the drivers you just want to double check just make sure you have all the drivers and everything then you need to connect your device um, to the laptop or computer wherever you're using your Odin software and just shut it off just power it off see okay let's let it power off now here on Odin what you have to do is that you have to select the OPS file which is your TAS v10 file link will be in the description you can also download it from samfirmware.com so I am importing it then you import the boot file now I was going to install my stock ROM stock gingerbread ROM and I'll in my boot button I'll select this file and 
in my phone button I'm gonna select the modem file this one in my PDA button I'm gonna select the code file this one and in my it's actually working here right in my CSC one I'm gonna select CSC file and I'm going to double check it OPS should be task yes uh, boot has this boot file yes phone has this modem file yes PDA has this code blah blah file yes CSC has this CSC file done great let's get back okay we have our files in our Odin now and it actually says GTS5570 it has actually detected it now on your mobile phone this is what we are going to do this is the tricky part you have this volume down button and then this home button and then the power button these are the three keys we are going to use first we are going to press the volume down button then the home button and then the power button it's in the downloading mode see this is when you flash your ROMs now we are in the downloading mode and we'll start flashing the ROM everything is in its place let's press start and it'll start to work you can see it here it's working okay one point that I like to mention you cannot back up your stock ROM um, Samsung does not give you the opportunity to use clock clockwork mod and ROM manager and all don't use that it will actually break your phone so you cannot um, actually do anything about your stock ROM however what we can do the reason I showed you the 2.2.1 um, firmware that I have already downloaded and mentioned earlier is, is that we can actually you know get back to our Froyo using that ROM because I like Froyo Froyo allows me to do a couple of more things that Gingerbread is not Gingerbread is I think still in the development process it does not have link to SD and you know all that maybe it does I just I just don't know how to use it I guess but I didn't like it as such but it's just for those who want to give it a try and all um, app to SD does work on gingerbread uh, but link to SD does not but and I am you know more prone towards link to SD so I'm holding back on that now this will go on for some time meanwhile your phone will restart right now it's still in the downloading mode I'm zooming it's still in the downloading mode it will restart when the screen will show to restart I'm gonna show you that in a bit first I'm going to show you on the screen uh, yes okay I'll just get back and it's done I think <laughs> yeah okay so it is actually saying that it's closing serial port wait until reboot my phone just restarted it's doing something more to it and it's just restarting is it that cool it restarts all by itself don't panic it's natural okay the first boot is going to take some time don't worry about it don't panic relax relax breathe it is going to be all right so it's starting yes I'm gonna have 2.3.4 gingerbread on my mini <laughs> actually my phone starts all right my phone will start before this will even show pass there but I would recommend not to do anything to your phone let it start but let this thing finish first let it say pass with a blue background and a black font and then only we're going to touch the phone all right so I guess we'll be back when we'll be at pass so BRB okay so my phone is actually started in some foreign language <laughs> if you 
can see in the background it's still working but it has started so I'm not going to touch it let's just put it aside it's going to end soon don't worry don't panic relax I'm just gonna do one thing with my phone during you know that's done I'm just going to change the oops I'm just going to change the language so that it's understandable by us English you oops <laughs> selected a Spaniel English US oh tada I am past there I've done this and voila okay so close Odin we are happy happy people close Odin and we are on gingerbread see this is your gingerbread that we were all waiting for really anxiously and let me just show you quickly the phone detail these are the phone details so congratulations you are on gingerbread that was it for today um, please keep watching for my next videos on upcoming custom ROMs. Thank you. Bye.